uh, for devices, what we can what we can do is basically use a, a, a one-two punch approach, basically securing the connection with the device and then securing the device itself. Of, of course, it's not only about camera, uh, but I will use this as an as an example here. So what's the number one priority and the number one thing you should do if you were to do a single thing to secure a network device? Change the default password, right? We've discussed this uh, last time. This can be accomplished by going directly on the device web page, or it can be accomplished in Security Center uh, as well. So doing it in Security Center provides the advantage that can, you can do uh, your password change at scale for multiple camera manufacturer with the same interface. Let's see how uh, we can do this in uh, Security Center. So. If you click on a unit, you see that uh, there is a change uh, unit password that is uh, that is available, and that basically, if you if you click on this one, uh, it will uh, allow you to um, to basically uh, change it here uh, right away. So pretty simple. We'll, we'll get uh, another demo uh, on this uh, later. So. This is well, however, uh, if you don't use HTTPS, the newly generated password will be sent over the network in clear. Therefore, this password change would, uh, would, would ideally be done over a secure channel. It's possible to use HTTPS with most camera today. The high level steps on how to do this are the following. Generate a certificate on the camera, then secondly, set up the camera to use that, that certificate for HTTPS, and then configure Security Center so that it communicates uh, over HTTPS with that camera. So the first and second steps needs to be done directly on the web page of the, of the device, but the third step uh, can, be, uh, can be done in Security Center. So basically, when you add a device, uh, you can do it right away by checking uh, the, the, the use HTTPS checkbox. More, uh, it's not more complicated than that. Please note, however, that if you do this and the certificate is not working, the camera is not over HTTPS, then the camera won't be uh, won't be appearing in Security Center. So you really need to make sure uh, that uh, the camera is set up properly. Um, the the security center will check the you know the full check of of the certificate. Uh, Sometimes this is not uh, how people use it because setting up a full certificate authority is is complex. So uh, it is possible to uh, to lessen the constraint a little bit. Uh, in order to do this. Uh, if you go in your config tool and then in the on the archiver on the specific extension that you want to 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 add a camera uh, in the advanced setting you can uh, for example allow untrusted certificate authority so this will uh, this will render the system less secure but it is still better than not using https at all so it can be used in those kinds of of scenario Now, uh, say that we have secured the basic connection of a device, we now want to secure its main output, so the video in that scenario. You might wonder, wouldn't activating HTTPS also encrypts the video directly? The answer is sometimes yes, but most often times no. The reason for this is that uh, the video is not sent over HTTP, so encrypting this channel won't encrypt the video. You can see the camera as having three categories of channel, a command and control one for its configuration, a command and control one for its video stream, and the video stream itself. So the configuration of the command and control channel uh, is, is, the, is done via the RTSP protocol. This is basically a remote control where you can do play, pause, and stop. The RTP, uh, protocol is the one doing the heavy lifting, basically sending the video packets uh, over the, the network. 
So how to secure those? Well, basically those protocols have their own encrypted version. For the video security or RTP, uh, this is called SRTP for secure RTP. For RTSP, this is called RTSPS. So RTSP secure, we just put the S at the end. Uh, this last one is the easiest to understand because in fact, it uses the same underlying security protocol as HTTPS. When we say HTTPS, in fact, what we mean is HTTP over TLS. Well, RTSPS is exactly the same thing, RTSP over TLS. For SRTP, it's another matter. It has its own uh, cryptographic uh, protocol unrelated to any others. So those protocols are now supported by multiple camera vendors, uh, such as Axis, Bosch, Engwa, Panasonic. Uh, they are also supported in Envith, and they are uh, supported in Security Center as well. How to see if a video is end-to-end -end encrypted in Security Center? Um, let's look at an example of this. Uh, if you look, at, if you click on a camera in the config tool, you can see on the right-hand side in the stream information that there is an encrypted yes and in parentheses end-to-end. Uh, -end. So this basically means that the video coming from the camera itself uh, is encrypted. That's an easy way you can use to to test this, so to check it. 